Hello. Nomad Sculpt Efficient and Quick Part 6. Let's sculpt uh, quick <laughs> uh, water drops or um, such a syrup effect or melting wax. Okay, these are the drops. Let's create a drop. Um, you only need the tube tool uh, for this. And sculpting is not very much. Uh, use the pass, draw only a straight line, press the green button, and now go to the topology settings, reduce um, the X division to only three, and the parameter post subdivision to two. And in the tube topology, um, activate the Y division and um, reduce, it, reduce it a little bit. Um, okay, and now you can add a few more points. And at the top, there's a radius setting. Activate the, um, that all radius are adjustable. And now it's possible uh, to adjust here the radius of every point um, and create your drop. And you can test the post subdivision, how it works. And yes, that's all. <laughs> um, you can validate this object. And now you can uh, I activate the outline. And now you can use a move brush and uh, yes, make it a little bit wilder. Okay, this is the drop and let's delete these objects. Uh, I think the, I delete also the light. Uh, let's make the objects, the other objects visible solo view off and this is the example for the uh, syrup or melting wax it's very low poly and also use uh, the tube tool set it on pass and uh, draw a straight line green dot to activate it Select the object again when when you lost it, um, and you can lock at the bottom uh, your tube. And in the settings, you can uh, set every point to the snap function, and turn on at the bot at the top the snap. Then the the points snap here on the objects. In the topology. The same as the drop, go back to 3. And here, low. And post subdivision 2. And now you can um, adjust the radius, uh, activate every radius. And here, add a few more points. Now you can adjust your your syrup or your melting um, parts, and now you can also uh, do um, such an effect at the bottom. It doesn't matter if it looks uh, there. Um, out of the teller. <laughs> okay, uh, when you're fine with this, um, you can validate your object and use the move brush uh, to adjust it a little bit, bring it inside the mesh, paint it, and 
practice here, stretch it a little bit. For low poly, um, it's I think it's the fastest way to get this effect. Turn off the outline and yes. Sculpt a little bit. That's it. Have fun with sculpting. Ciao.